Hello everyone. Well, as you can tell by my current state of mind and my new warnings probably be calling on the rest of my stuff that I've got planned for the remainder of this year as well as in 2020. And I'm going to be talking about how HBO's History of Materials, the most recent attempt at adapting Philip Pullman's fantasy novel series of the same name, and it seems the first series is going to be focusing on the Golden Compass, also known as Northern Lights, was previously adapted into film in 2007, but that's my for another day, as well as plans to adapt for the second season, The Subtle Knife, as well as the, as for the third season, The Amber Spyglass. Uh, so, as you can tell, I'm definitely very much like a big fan of the series, series and been looking for an adaptation of this caliber for some time, and I, I am glad to say that after the first four episodes, I just finished the fourth episode, Armor, I seem to have found it. So, I'm going to try to keep the totally spoiler free, so I'll just give you the basics and what I thought of how the series a role. The story follows a young woman named Lyra Balakwa, played in this film, in this series by Daphne Keen Logan fame, um, who is residing in a college called Jordan, and under the tutelage of someone named Lord Azrael, played by James McAvoy in this series. And she's also come across as a as an artifact known as an alethiometer or golden compass, as, which is a measure of truth, while also trying to elude who the a, a over her watching eye of the Magisterium, an organization which has some very heavy subtext, I'll admit, uh, but this is an area where it's good not to pull punches, especially it's a good outlet for them not to do so, given how apparently hey, this was definitely a much better format to do it to adapt the story than there was on film, even if it wasn't for all the executive meddling that ensued. But I'm getting ahead of myself. And also oh, comes across Miss Coulter, played in this series by Ruth Wilson. As well as getting allies such as Lee Scoresby, he played by man Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame, and also, as of this episode I just finished watching, allies with an armor bear named Eric Bernison, and, and voiced by Joe Tamberg. And I will say hey, that. On top of being visually stunning, and the show is a vast improvement so far over the 2007 film, much darker, her and much more faithful to the tone of the story, as well as the style, which definitely helps given how Pullman is directly involved with this as, as executive producer, so as not to repeat the mistakes made before. I mean. Even though I was not the biggest fan of the 2007 film growing up, I will give it this, did get me into the books, which are now almost my favorite novels I've ever read, even with the admitted you know, viewpoints of the of Poland himself, but I figured that I definitely have been intrigued by the idea ever since I first heard the announcement back in 2015, they were, four years ago they're going to be making this, and Apparently, he, he, after the rather strong reaction all people had towards the end of Game of Thrones, which I'm not a big fan of that, I'm going to understand why people aren't happy with that. In this case, they apparently wanted something of that caliber, at least in the other seasons, and for this series, and I'm kind of glad to say that they really seem to be going for it here, I mean... I'd very much like the series to become a success so they can adapt at the at the other two books in the series, which I already plan to do. You know, and I definitely would recommend it and but one thing I would suggest best before you do is to read the books first so you understand this more. I mean 
because that's one thing I'll admit about the 2007 film before I formally look at that one in detail. You know, because that one ended up being highly disappointing for those who are familiar with the books and probably confusing for those who did not. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for now, and I will talk to you all later. Mm-hmm.